An historic moment for Naftali Bennett as he becomes the first Israeli leader to travel to Bahrain since both nations began normalizing ties under a U.S. brokered accord 17 months ago. My goal during this visit is to um, inject content into the Abraham Accords uh, in the trade, in the people-to-people -people, uh, connections, uh, and in all dimensions. That accord went against long-standing Arab consensus over avoiding any relationship with Israel without a solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Bahrain, along with the United Arab Emirates, are the third and fourth nations behind Egypt and Jordan to establish such ties with Israel. A previous trip earlier in the month by its defense minister Benny Gantz saw the signing of a defense agreement, a matter high on Israel's priority list as it seeks to oppose a return to a 2015 agreement over Iran's nuclear program. Bennett's government has repeatedly warned that lifting sanctions against Iran in return for it abandoning its nuclear ambitions would leave it with more resources to use against Israel. That will likely leave Bahrain's Sunni Muslim monarch with a delicate balancing act to perform. He's already seen fierce criticism over the rapprochement with Israel from the nation's Shiite-led opposition.